Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what is Zango and how to set up Zango in VS Code and PyCharm. So let's get started. Zango is a free and open source web application framework which is written in Python. Zango offers a big collection of modules which you can use in your own projects. Primarily, frameworks exist to save the developers a lot of wasted time and headaches and Zango is not different. So let's start with the installation of Zango in our computer. So let's see how to install Zango in VS Code. In order to install Zango in VS Code, firstly you have to install VS Code. So just type VS Code here. Go to the first site. Download for Windows. As I have already installed the VS Code, I will directly take you to the next step. Now I have created an empty folder here with whose name is Zeng. I will do a shift right click here and open it with the PowerShell window. Okay. Now here I will install Zengo by the command pip install Zengo. You can follow with me. Pip install Zengo. Now press enter. As I have already installed Zengo in my computer system, so it will show that requirement already satisfied. If you enter this command, then you will see a full process to how to install the Zengo. Okay, now pip install Zengo upgrade. This command will upgrade my Zengo to the latest version. Now wait, okay. I'm using the latest version of the Zengo right now. You can upgrade your version by this command in the PowerShell window. Now I will open my folder in the VS Code by doing shift right click here I will open it with code in order to get started with Zengo firstly you need to install the extension Zengo here search for Zengo you will get first extension at Baptist Day by and you can install from here I have already installed this extension so, I will show you the next step. You can open the terminal by new terminal here. And you can start making projects from here. So, I will start by making a project name Hello. Hello. This is the command to make project in Zengo. We are saying to the Zengo admin that we have to start a project whose name is hello. Press enter. Okay. Here you can see it created a folder hello. Now I will check. I will check whether my server is running or not. Firstly, I will show you what this folder contained. Here you can see hello have a hello folder. There are already some files in this in these folders. This is the feature of Django extension. There's something something you will not understand. I know there's something something in this uh, files right now, and we will modify it according to our need. Okay, I will show you now. Firstly, I will set up my server. To set up server, the command is python manage.py and run server. Okay, no such file or directory. Okay, okay, okay. I was in a wrong directory. The terminal is showing this error because I have no manage.py in this Zengo folder. Now I will move to hello folder I will double click on this and will shift right click here now open it with code now I am in my hello folder you can see here now I will make I will run new terminal I will write python 
python manage dot py run server this will run our server now you can see our server has been created here click on this click on this follow link our server has been created that's amazing now it's how to make server and how to set up Zango in VS code now let's see how to set up Zango in PyCharm but before moving to that I will show you how to create an app the video will quite lengthy because i will show you how to create an app too in this video uh, a basic app in this video a basic app only so as a server has been created and running very successfully you can congratulate yourself now i will show you how to create an app in our hello project hello is the project name and we will create an app you can see here there's a sql light file is already there this is built-in file you can see if you will install it like this okay so i will do python manage.py start app and you can write the app name okay how i know that the command is start app i will do enter here you can see there are different different commands here here I will see this is start app. Okay, start app. Let's get started. Python manage dot py start app. Start app. Oh. The app the name of our app is home. Okay. The Python app has been created and you can see here the home and there are similar files in this hello project and this home. You can see init.py, init.py there. You can see different uh, test.py, views.py. I will tell you it in the further videos, but I will. I was showing that how to create an app, just the command. Okay. So let's move how to install Zango in PyCharm now. To install Zango in PyCharm. So let's go to the Chrome screen. Once the PyCharm get installed, you can follow the further steps. I will not get more deep into PyCharm because mostly programmers use VS Code for Zengo projects. I will directly show you the steps. Please follow them to get started with PyCharm. All the PyCharm from PyCharm website. Now open the PyCharm and click on the new project. Now you will see the Py terminal tab at the bottom of the PyCharm. Click on that and Install Zengo from there by the command pep install Zengo. It will work same as the PowerShell window here. And you can create the project by the same command Zengo admin start project and you can write your project name here. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for listening that much patiently. I hope you have learned many things from this video. Meet you in the next video. Till then, tata, bye bye, goodbye, guys.